is this part of the plan for world domination? I mean, 200 stores, I believe, worldwide are going to be stuck in the new collection. World domination starting with the UK. <laughs> Please, you brought it to us first. <laughs> exactly. Are you happy with the results? I'll be having a flick through behind you. It looks great. Yeah, we are so happy with the collection. I mean, it's obviously an extension of our collection that we have in the States. We definitely have a lot of exclusive pieces that are just here for the UK and all of, I think it's like 204. Uh, Dorothy Perkins stores here and we're excited um, for this Saturday to meet everyone at uh, Westfield and White City. That's I think the most rewarding part is to meet all of the our, our customers, our fans and really connect with them. How exciting was it for you to be working in partnership with a brand like Dorothy Perkins and, and Sir Philip Green and you've got Bruno on board as well again who I believe did the collection at Sears in, in the States? Yeah. I think it's really important. I think that we're we're learning so much in this process, and um, I think we're also really just thankful for the opportunity um, that Sir Philip Green has given us coming out here to the UK, and and you know he has just so much respect in this area. So just learning a lot from him um, is really exciting for us. I mean, we're businesswomen at the end of the day, so anything we can learn from you know an, an amazing businessman is just something that we really enjoy the whole process of from start to finish. How would you sum up the collection and who is it aimed at? What, what kind of a woman would want to wear your products? See, I think, you know, Dorothy Perkins is kind of aimed towards women from like 25 to 35, and I think that's like right in the target of our collection. Um, Courtney kind of disagrees because my little sisters love the line and they're and my 15 and 17. Loves it. Our mom wants to wear it, so I think it's really any age range, it just depends on how you style the pieces. Mm -hmm. And I think that the collection is very versatile and you can totally take the pieces from morning to night, you know, if you met friends after work. And I think that the, the pieces too are like, you can mix and match them in so many different ways that I think it's just a very versatile collection. I think what's good as well is it seems like you've been able to put a bit of each of your personalities and obviously mm -hmm. one of your sisters isn't here today because she's obviously do, I think doing X Factor which yes. probably why yes. she can't be here. But she'll be here in a few days. She's coming for Westfield isn't yes. she? Yes. She's doing very well out there in America uh, on X Factor isn't Thank she? You. You're missing her. We are. We're like we haven't seen her since the show started so we're just really excited to, to watch. Catch up. Yeah. I wonder if we can watch I've been online. watching her and I'm so proud like the first time watching, I was like so nervous. Like, I literally was like, everyone stop. I need to stay I up cried. there. The first time she came on, like when she was walking out, literal tears were like falling down my face. I was praying. And everyone's like, that is a long prayer. <laughs> what is it like? I mean, we see your show and keeping up with the Kardashians, but um, you're also successful. I mean, are you competitive among each other when you're home? Because everyone is doing so well in their own little. We're I don't competitive think we're like competitive. in a, like in sister ways at home, but we're not competitive in like work ways. We really want each other to succeed, and we really like push each other and motivate each other. Yeah, I think we do want the best for each other, but we'll have fun competing, like you know, in little different things. Like Kim challenged me to like that she could pack better than me, or like Did they she? challenge her on everything. <laughs> yeah. Does she pack better than you? No. <laughs> Actually, when I did get here, my bag, for some reason, because I probably because I borrowed one of her bags, it looked like it fully exploded. Like, I don't know what really? happened. Yeah. The, in the black one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm pleased you knew which one she'd borrowed, because I was going to say that. You must be, it must be great that you can all pinch each other's clothes. And who's, who's the worst? Who, who never returns their stuff? I return it probably with some spit up on it or something. I must mention that because ultimately you're a businesswoman and you're very successful, but you're combining that with motherhood. How do you manage to stay sane and on top of everything? I mean, it's definitely my biggest challenge as a mo as a mother is to be a working mother. And um, I think it just balance and knowing that my kids are my first priority. Yeah. Like there's nothing else that's more important. So like, you know just keeping that as my priority. It must be very exciting to be doing a job that you love and have your siblings who are your best friends working with you day in, day out. It's so ridiculous that like this is our job that we 
are doing, like you said, exactly what we've always wanted to do and doing it together. Like I can't, I don't know. It's such like it makes for such a great quality of life to just be doing something that we're so in love with. I, um, can I touch on as well, Kim? Because obviously um, your other half, Kanye, has got his own clothing line. Do you give each other tips? Uh, who kind of wears the trousers in that? And uh, we definitely respect each other's like own design process, uh, but we, we give each other tips. Are yours better? No. <laughs> His are better, actually. <laughs> Very diplomatic. Um, what else can people look forward to um, in, in the future? I mean, obviously, you've said you've taken this out to over 200 stores. Um, and I believe you've got plans to take it out to Asia as well and China. Is that right? Is that on the cards for next year? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think we also would love to expand the brand. And, you know, in the States, we have home and swimwear and denim and lingerie. And, you know, we'd love to do a kid's line, <clears throat> maybe a maternity line. Yeah, I was going to touch on that actually. With being a parent, I mean, where would what would you like to see on the market for the children? I mean, my favorite thing to shop for in life is kids' clothes. So, like, having a children's line would be such a dream, and I have such an opinion about it. So, like, that would be a very, like, natural step for us. I think. Is it all going to be work, work, work while you're here? Will you get a chance to have a bit of downtime in London and what you're going to be looking forward to doing? I think we're going to have to force some downtime so yeah. that we can, because I haven't been here in like 15 years. I've been here once and Chloe's never been. So I told Chloe we need like a fun sisterly outing. We really do. Is your mom and the rest of the gang here with you as well? Or? No. No, just no. us. Just us, <laughs> while the cats away, the mice can play. Well, listen, girls, thank you so much, thank and it's you. really beautiful. And thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you so much.